Okay gang, so now let's talk a little bit about file management within the Kaltura Capture Space. Uh, so you're taking a look at my desktop right now and what I've got running for you is the uh, desktop recorder and I'm in the library tab. And uh, essentially the library is where all of the videos are going to be stored after you record them uh, under the record tab. Now it's also, Kaltura also saves these videos onto your PC and we'll get a little bit into that uh, in just a moment. Uh, but I wanted to show you this section first. So here I can edit some videos and they're very minor editing. Uh, we're talking like trimming it from the beginning, maybe chopping out a, second, uh, a section of the middle, uh, editing any kind of metadata, naming the video and so on. And you can also delete the video. So this particular screen capture that I've got right here, it didn't go very well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And to delete it, I'm gonna click on the X uh, that's marked Remove Media. It's gonna say, are you really sure you wanna do that? Yep, I'm sure. Okay, so now I wanna edit this Quick Tips Episode 5. There were, uh, I sneezed and I also didn't really like the beginning, so I'm gonna trim that down a little bit. Before I get into that, when I click on the, uh, the button, it's gonna take me to the Upload Options screen and that's gonna be where I can name it. Uh, I can put it in description and I can put in tags. Now, if you haven't looked at the Upload to Blackboard section of the training yet where we discuss why tags are so important, I will encourage you to take a look at that because uh, tags can make a huge impact uh, on the videos as far as finding them easily uh, and, and, and storing them in your uh, My Media online. Okay, so everything is good. I'm happy with the way that looks. So now I'm gonna go in and actually edit the video. So I'll click this preview button down here and it's gonna generate the video. It'll take a second for that to load. Okay, Again, Christian here with another and there I am in that video. So uh, over here on the left hand side you're gonna notice a trim and a chop. Now trim, when I cl uh, click on that, I'm gonna get these little clippers here and this is essentially gonna show me um, where the video is going to start and where the video is going to end. So anything that is blacked out or grayed out is going to be removed when I apply this edit. So let's say I just want to take out the first five seconds because it was just some dead air. Uh, and then let's say I want to take out the last few moments up till 650 we'll say because that was just all dead air as well. So you'll notice when I click apply, and I'm not actually going to do that, um, that the video will trim itself and those two segments that I have grayed out on the ends are going to be removed. Now, I can also, let's say in the middle of this video I sneezed or, or coughed or something and I want to take that out, I can click on chop and I get these same little uh, trimmers here and I can scroll this one down but if you notice it's everything in the middle of these two trimmers now that is uh, grayed out. So let's say uh, right about here is where I sneezed and I'll click apply and when I do that just this center section is going to be removed from the video. Uh, so to save all those changes naturally like I said you click apply uh, when you're finished making all your changes you'll click done. Uh, for this instance I'm going to click cancel because I don't need to make any changes. Then it's going to take you back here to your upload options screen and you can either upload it and that'll go to your my media section of uh, Kaltura uh, or you can click save and that'll just save the video to your computer. Uh, and I'm going to click save for now all right, and now, uh, so we've talked about the library, let's now talk about the settings. Now, um, we're gonna go into more detail on the settings in the actual hands-on section of the training, uh, but there are a couple elements that I wanted to point out to you as far as file management goes. Uh, now, first off, when you go to the settings tab, if you've never changed it, under the local media file storage, you're gonna see a really, really long um, storage location or file path. And Kaltura essentially by default will store all of your videos in this really weird file path. So um, if you need to know where that is, we have a help guide in the help guides section that is marked um, Kaltura storage or default storage. Uh, and if you take a look at that, it'll show you how to get to that default storage location. Uh, so you can either move your videos out of there if you've lost them uh, or, or if you need to find them for some reason. Uh, but my recommendation as we go in here is to change where this stores your videos so they're easier to find. Uh, and you can do that by clicking on the browse button and when you do that it's going to open up this old folder browser here. And my recommendation is just to go to your videos library and when you do that uh, you can create a folder like I have here marked Kaltura Capture Space. So that way going forward anytime you save a video it's going to dump into that folder and they're so much easier to find. 
And then the uh, the last thing on this screen that I'll, I'll mention to you is down here at the bottom where it says media upload. There's a check mark box here that says delete recordings on disk after upload. And if that is checked, which by default it is, uh, as soon as you upload your videos to My Media, which is the online shared repository, um, it deletes them off of your computer, which can be problematic, especially if, let's say, you know, you lose your videos or something happens to it during the upload process and it becomes corrupt. Uh, so my recommendation is to uncheck that. Now, once you've made all these changes, either to the storage location or uh, unchecking this little box here, you're going to want to click Save. That way it will actually store those uh, settings that you've made. If you don't click Save, it won't change anything. Okay, so that's all there is for file management. I hope you found this particular video helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.